Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is tubal anastomosis or reversal of sterilization. So first of all, we will discuss the prerequisites of tubal anastomosis. The first very important thing which is worth mentioning is that of the age of the patient. Ideally, this procedure should be performed when the patient is under 40 years of age. And do not recommend this procedure when the age of the patient is more than 44 years. Next prerequisite is that of the type of the tubal ligation. So laparoscopic procedure should only be done when the tubal size is at least 3 cm. The bipolar coagulation has got success rate of 49%. The ring and clip carries 67% success rate. And with the formula technique, the, uh, the prognosis is 75%. Another prerequisite is the health of the ovaries. So for that we do the ovarian reserve screening tests and those include first of all day 3 serum FSH level, the AMH level, clomiphene citrate challenge test at day 10, serum inhibin level on day 3 and the antral follicle count. Patients with antral follicle counts of less than 4 follicles are poor responders. Another very important thing is that we have to do the ultrasound for the ovarian size and any pathology like cyst and tumor. Among the prerequisites, we would like to know about the uterus as well and its associate pathologies like adenomyosis, the fibroid uterus, pelvic inflammatory disease or the Asherman syndrome. Another prerequisite is related to the fallopian tubes. The length of the fallopian tube should be more than 4 mm and that is basically the residual length of the ampullary portion. Secondly, we have to do HST to see which portion of the tubes has been tied. Another important prerequisite of the tubal anastomosis is the length and time between sterilization and reversal. Means after 5 years of sterilization, the tubes are usually severely damaged with the flattening of epithelium. The amount of scar tissue in the pelvic area also make the anastomosis difficult. The partner's sperm count also have a great role in the future fertility. The tubal anastomosis also depends upon the surgeon's skill and last but not the least informed consent must have been taken. What are the intraoperative complications of tubal anastomosis? First of all, difficult surgery due to disparity in size and gap. Secondly, the failure of the procedure. What are the post-operative complications of tubal anastomosis? Those include bleeding, infection, damage to the nearby organs, anesthesia complications, risk of ectopic pregnancy which occurs in 10 to 15 percent of the cases, formation of scar tissue and reblock. Now, how to do the pre-operative preparation of patient for the tubal anastomosis? The first important thing is introduction. Secondly, the written consent. Thirdly, the pre-operative checklist, the type of anesthesia, the success rate factors like age. And this procedure is generally restricted to the patient with no other cause of subfertility. What are the different surgical approaches of tubal anastomosis? First is by laparotomy microsurgical technique. Second is laparoscopy or pelviscopy. And thirdly, the transcervical tubal recanalization procedure. Now, what type of the surgeries are performed? Those include adhesiolysis or salpingo ovariolysis. In case of the proximal tubal occlusion, we go for tubocoronal reanastomosis. In case of the distal tubal occlusion, we go for fimbrioplasty. The most commonly used technique is that of the tubal re-anastomosis technique. Tubal end-to-end -end anastomosis is either performed laparoscopically or we go for slice resection of occluded tubal area. This is hysteroscopic tubal sterilization and canalization procedure. Mesosalping's adaptation suture application technique is also a preferred technique nowadays. Another technique is muscularis anastomosis suture application technique. And lastly, we will discuss the role of chromopertubation. In fact, chromopertubation is the installation of the dye through the fallopian tubes during laparoscopy. So that permits the better visualization of the tubal potency. 
So thank you so much. That was all about tubal anastomosis and reversal of sterilization. Subscribe on Ops and Gynae. Allah Hafiz.